Well, hey everybody. All right, I decided to do this live Q&A because my DMs have been blowing up. The more I share about this journey that I've been on since January, the more questions that I get. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity for us to just have a little informal chat and, and talk about what is going on with my body, with my health, my supplements, my nutrition. I mean, I have just been getting so many questions. So if you're listening to this live, I would love for you guys to, if you know, like, do you guys see where the little question is? Like if you're watching this live right now, if you click on the little question, you can actually drop me questions and I'm just going to pull from them and I'm going to answer them live. So what I'm going to do, so make sure you type them in there. That is like the most helpful thing that you can do. So let's talk. Let's talk about why I decided to do in, in this whole anti-inflammatory journey. I get a lot of questions from people like, are you trying to lose weight? You don't need to lose weight, right? So we're going to talk about all of that stuff too, okay? So number one, um, this journey has been quite a process. So if I give you a little history, if you're new here to my page, um, back in 2003, so back in 2003 is when I started to experience some really different symptoms, right? So I was having a lot of issues. I had chronic um, IBS, so irritable bowel syndrome. Um, I was always, everything that I ate sort of like went right through my body. It really, um, it really began to trigger anxiety and panic attacks, which then threw me into a bit of a depression in 2003. And so that was really the beginning of my anxiety and it really sort of coming to a head. And so over, you know, the past, I don't know, that's what a long time ago, you know, so all of these years I've been dealing with IBS, I've been dealing with panic attacks and I've done everything, right? So in 2011, I started with Beachbody. I've been doing Beachbody workouts and I started to follow a cleaner diet. And back in, in 2011, when I started taking out a lot of the fried food, processed foods and sugars, I noticed that my body really changed and I felt really good. But even during the past 10 years, you know, I have, I've grown and scaled a multi-million dollar business, which meant there was an insane amount of pressure and stress that I put on myself. I also did not have very good coping skills, which meant that I suppressed a lot of my anxiety and I just sort of pushed through it. And I didn't take care of my body in terms of sleep. I was getting maybe four hours of sleep at night. Um, I was burning the candle at both ends. I was not managing my anxiety in a healthy way. I was leaning on caffeine and carbs and sugar to kind of get me through my days. And my body about a couple of years ago sort of said to me like, hey, um, that's enough. And I started to get really sick. So I would get frequent colds, frequent flus. Um, I started to notice that even when I was getting, you know, seven to eight hours of sleep at night, I was just chronically fatigued. I would wake up in the morning and automatically thinking about going back to bed, right? Um, I was always irritable. I was like, why am I always on edge? Like no matter how good I sleep, even when I'm not stressed, like I'm just irritable, right? My skin was breaking out. I was getting like acne everywhere. So it started with acne everywhere. I was having really bad hormonal acne. Um, um, migraines around that time of the month, like really, really bad migraines. And so all of these things were happening to me. And last year I made this commitment to therapy. I made this commitment to like, I'm going to get to the root cause of my anxiety. I worked with a great therapist um, and for an entire year, for 12 months, we gave me coping strategies and techniques for how to handle the things that were making me anxious and I felt like I was making great progress but I just, that irritability, that anxiety, that the chronic headaches, the chronic fatigue, the zero energy, like I was always tired. I was like, something else is going on. And so that is what led me down the path of gut health and really saying that I truly believe that there is a connection between our gut and our brain and that brain gut connection. And so what I did was I, um, I actually am working with a functional pharmacist so Josie, um, her account here on Instagram is functional farm D Josie. I can, I'll link that for you guys as well. 
but I met with her and the two of us started this process of, you know, changing my diet. And I started reading a book. It's called A Mind of Your Own, Kelly Brogan. So download that book on Audible. It's very scientific, but it, it gave me this like aha moment, right? So this aha moment of, oh my, oh my goodness, like my anxiety and my depression are very much related to what I eat and what I'm feeding my body. And I believe that from years of taking a lot of ibuprofen, which ibuprofen eats the lining of your gut, which then, you know, allows you to have what we call leaky gut. And that means like things and eating sugars and processed foods and pesticides and everything we get in our body and alcohol, all of that stuff breaks down the, the health of your gut and allows, you know, the stuff to get into your body, which then that's what causes all these symptoms. So I got very curious about root cause, like what is the root cause? So now I've been on this journey, right? So I started with Whole30, which is what I did. That's an elimination plan. So basically in January, January 2nd, I bought the book Whole30, followed it to the T. I've actually done Whole30 in the past a few times. And so what I did was I, um, I started eliminating things and in Whole30 you eliminate gluten, dairy, sugar, alcohol, grains, all of those things. I just took them right out of my diet. And, and to be honest with you, I was, I was having a conversation with a friend earlier today and I was like, you have to get to your breaking point. And I was literally at my breaking point because so many people are like, I couldn't cut out alcohol or I don't know if I could do get rid of dairy. Like I love cheese or, and I was like, listen, um, for me, I was so, I hated it. I just wanted to feel good. And I knew that there was something more going on and I was willing to make the commitment. So I made the commitment to eliminating those things. And within two weeks, I already like the mentally, the brain fog gone, right? Brain fog gone. Also, my puffiness in my face, like I can't believe how much I was holding in my body, like inflammation. Um, and so that all went away, right? Like I noticed that immediately. I was not bloated. I wasn't having IBS symptoms anymore. Um, I was sleeping better. I noticed that a little, like not a very big change in anxiety, but I did put together that the alcohol was absolutely making me anxious. So, and the sugars at night give me like super vivid dreams, which disrupts my sleep. So all of a sudden, right in January, I start to put together. So food is first, you've got to get rid of inflammatory foods. Inflammatory foods are just foods that tend to not agree with our body, the most inflammatory foods. Also, I started buying foods that are organic as much as possible. So look up the dirty dozen. You wanna stay away from the dirty dozen. Like it's, once you start reading and you start educating yourself, it will blow your mind how much crap we put into our bodies. So I started buying organic fruit, organic vegetables. I started paying attention to the meats that we were buying because even buying meat that, you know, is, is you know, grain fed and isn't grass fed and it has hormones in it, you know, all of that stuff. Those are all endocrine disruptors. When an endocrine disruptor, it disrupts your hormones. So my hormones were out of whack. That's why I was having all of that hormonal acne. So as I started removing things slowly from my diet, from my environment, things began to change. So I started with diet. That was step number one. I was still working out. I was still taking care of myself. So that was still happening. I was, second thing I was doing is I needed decreased stress because I was diagnosed with adrenal fatigue. So Josie, who is the functional pharmacist, did a cortisol test on me. I was, my cortisol was flipped upside down. So when your cortisol should be the highest in the morning, mine was the lowest. My cortisol was low all day long until about nine o'clock at night and it would spike. So I was completely ass backwards and no wonder I was didn't have any energy at all. So stress management, a lot more meditation, deep breathing, decreasing stress in my life, um, a lot of personal growth and also sleep. So I prioritized sleep. That was next. Then once we did got the cortisol test, we started some supplementation. So we addressed the adrenal fatigue with supplements. 
Um, we address the anxiety with supplements. So every, every functional practitioner is going to give you a different supplement routine based on your background, your history. So we did a comprehensive, you know, background check and blood work and all of that. So, you know, I have my own supplement plan that I'm following. So we're addressing adrenal fatigue. We're addressing the anxiety. Um, we're boosting my vitamin D, all of that. I'm eating really healthy. And so I noticed immediate changes. Oh, and a probiotic because I needed to heal my gut. So we were doing some work on healing my gut as well, right? And I stopped taking ibuprofen, which was great, right? So I was working on, you know, my chronic headaches. So making sure my body was in alignment, all of that stuff. So then what happened is I, I was doing really well, right? And then about three months in, when we went to move to sort of the second phase of my adrenal health and my leaky gut protocol, um, and we changed my supplements, I sort of had a backslide for 30 days where I kind of went back and really was struggling with um, with sleep again, and and my, my stomach was really distended. So we realized I was way worse off, you know, on the leaky gut part. So we just took a step back. And so I've been doing um, an extra strength probiotic. I have been doing supplements for adrenal health. We basically reset my adrenals and, um, and I feel incredible. I never reintroduced gluten, dairy, um, sugar back into my diet at all. Um, I, it's okay. Like now I may like get a little bit of sugar. Um, I do have a drink randomly. So you've seen me probably one or two times over the past six months have a cocktail and it doesn't make me feel that great. So I've been making a lot of mocktails and I've been totally fine with it. And so you guys keep asking like, why are you doing this? Like, why are you doing these things? And it's because I just knew my body was designed to feel better. And instead of me putting a Band-Aid on things like, oh, you're really tired, so let's have an extra cup of coffee, or oh, you know, your skin's breaking out, so let's slap on some cream that has a ton of chemicals in it that's disrupting your hormones. I've been asking myself, like, what's the root cause? Why am I getting migraines, you know? And it's hormonal, right? So you change the hormonal part of it, you don't take more medication, you fix the root cause and you feel better. Anxiety, I take L-theanine, I can take it up to three times a day and it is mind blowing how much better I feel because my food is in check and I've got some great supplementation that is helping me as well. So it's crazy. I've done tons of research, read tons of books. Um, I'm working with Josie every single month and I, you know, I've lost some weight because I've lost a lot of the inflammation in my body and I've gotten really smart about the foods that I'm eating. So for me, that's why I'm doing it. Um, you guys uh, answering some questions here. I'm just gonna go down through and answer some questions. So good one, I'm gonna answer this one right now. So um, somebody said, are you still drinking Shakeology? So let me give you the honest answer. At the beginning, when I first started this, so I went through the whole, the whole 30 and I kept Shakeology in my diet. Then it was in February, um, I was like, man, I'm not like having a lot of like bloating and gas and I'm like, I do not feel well. And so we kind of pinpointed that it might have been Shakeology. So I took that out of my diet for about 30 days and it, I felt better. So basically my gut was just not healed enough to be able to absorb the nutrients. So after about 30 days of continuing to take the probiotics and we put me on like a supplement like that helps to heal your gut and soothe that lining, I started to add Shakeology back in and successfully I am able to drink Shakeology now and have been drinking it for about six weeks with no problems whatsoever. So that is good news. Yes, I'm still drinking Shakeology and I'm not having a problem at all anymore. So there we go, I answered that question. All right, so next question is, and again, if you guys have questions, drop them into the question and answer. Okay, so this one's from Heather. Do you still follow any of the Beachbody nutrition programs? So great question. Um, I've always been an ultimate portion fix person, hands down. That's the way I, I learned, that's the way I live. So absolutely, I very much think in terms of ultimate portion fix as I go throughout the day. All ultimate portion fix and an anti-inflammatory diet are not 
there, like there isn't too much of a difference there. It's just what you're choosing. Even when you look at Ultimate Portion Fix, Autumn tells you, eat from the top of the food list. Those are your most nutrient dense foods. Also, they're, they're also the most anti-inflammatory as well. I don't eat from the bottom of the food list. So I'm not eating the bagels. I'm not eating oatmeal, right? I'm eating sweet potatoes and white potatoes because they're the most inflammatory. They also have the most fiber. So if I'm gonna eat carbs, that's what I'm gonna have. When I'm looking at fruits, I'm choosing my lower glycemic fruits. Even with red containers, which are your proteins, I'm still eating protein. I'm just choosing a better source of protein grass fed, right? No hormones, all natural, organic. Same thing with my vegetables. So, you know, yes, I'm eliminating dairy from there, but even within the blue container, which is your good fats, I'm still eating almonds. I'm still eating other nuts. I'm still eating avocado, coconut oil. So it's just choosing the anti-inflammatory options from the food list. So you can still follow any of the plans because you're still looking at your portion sizes. You know, you're just choosing the better options food wise. Okay. All right, Heather, I hope that answered your question up next. Um, and that one is done. So we did that. Okay. Is this good for IBS? Yes. So I did answer that already. Obviously irritable bowel syndrome is um, is when your intestines are inflamed, right? Or they're twisted or, and they're, they're having spasms. So getting to the root cause, like why is my bowel spasming, right? What is causing it? It is treating the root cause. So obviously seeking out medical professional help, um, you know, making sure there isn't a bigger issue there, but for me, going that functional medicine route has helped me to soothe that part, and then stress management has allowed me to really do to really deal with it. Because again, mind body body connection, your gut and your brain, they are connected. So you know the symptoms that you're having are definitely connected. All right, I hope that that is helpful. All right, somebody else asked, are you still a Beachbody coach? Yes, I am. I still am a coach and I still run my business. Um, I still have clients that I mentor through Beachbody On Demand Workouts and Beachbody Nutrition as well. I just bring this expertise to the table um, and I still have an amazing team that I lead as well there. So I do, absolutely. All right, um, other questions. Okay. So as far as MLM, do you think I'm not gonna go? That, I'm not gonna answer that one, Britt, because it's it's not really about the anti-inflammatory, which is what I'm doing here. But I can message you privately and answer that. I no, it's not not at all, not even in the slightest. Um, influencer marketing is big, and so I don't think that's an issue at all. Um, what was the supplement you just said? It's L like the letter L dash theanine, T-H-E-A, theanine, right? L-theanine is the, the supplement that I take, okay? All right, um, no, hot, no thyroid issues at all. Everything was fine. Water retention. Um, I have water retention right now, big time throughout my body. I've eliminated all those foods. So look at your salt. Obviously, like the, look at your sodium intake. Are you eating foods that are high in sodium? Consult your physician. Obviously, you need to get blood work, get testing done, make sure there isn't something else going on there as well. Consult with a with a doctor for sure. All right. Okay. Um, any other questions? I really, really hope that this was super helpful, you guys. Um, Yes, and just it, it helps me in so many different ways. Like I feel absolutely incredible. Oh, here's another one. Okay, so do you still drink alcohol? Um, no and yes. So I used to really be the kind of person that, you know, Matt and I would have a cocktail like Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, right? It wasn't like an absorbent amount of alcohol, but definitely, we definitely did drink. And I cut that out. So for three full months, no alcohol whatsoever. And then I started to add it back in. But when I had a cocktail and I started with a glass of red wine, that's what my, my functional practitioner told me to start with, right? Red wine's not that bad for you. But I got this migraine, a horrible migraine. And so I we figured out, okay, my body wasn't responding well to the alcohol. So I tried vodka like a month later and I still had a really bad headache. 
And so I didn't drink again for another two months. And then last week I did have a cocktail with Matt. Slight headache, not awful. So really, I'm not going to drink. Um, maybe a special occasion, maybe just one. But I'm not really... I just, I feel like a great mocktail works for me as long as I've got something in my hand and it's fun, I enjoy it. Um, so I'm not, I'm just not really, it's not good for my anxiety and I noticed that was a trigger. And since I'm really trying to heal myself, I'm gonna actually stay away from it, all right? Okay, so glad that that answered the question. Um, up next, let's see, would the ultimate reset be similar? No not even slightly. It is not even close. Um, Ultimate Reset has still has like grains in it. Um, you do soy in there as well. And when you're coming from an anti-inflammatory perspective, I wouldn't do that. That's my personal opinion. Um, I just, just from the grains perspective, I don't think so. But I, I would definitely, if you feel like you've got inflammation um, and you know, like I sort of knew dairy and gluten and grains did not work with me, right? So if like thinking about ultimate reset for me, like I actually know that my body does not like oatmeal. I'm really fatigued when I eat oatmeal. I get bloated when I have quinoa. So when I look at the ultimate reset, those are like oatmeal is in there and quinoa is in there and soybeans are in there. And I just knew that wasn't gonna work for me because I already am very sensitive to those foods. That's why I am saying that wouldn't work for me. Um, but also the ultimate reset is not an anti-inflammatory plan. It's totally different, okay? All right, I hope that that helps you, but that is my answer, okay. Um, let's see, do you eliminate all dairy in foods or just switching milk options? So I do eliminate all dairy in foods. There's no dairy products in anything that I'm eating. It hasn't bothered me one bit. I drink, I not drink, but when I make my shake, I use unsweetened coconut milk, um, coconut water, coconut milk. Um, I've had ice cream that is non-dairy before as a special treat. So I've found substitutes, even like I made a cauliflower pizza with non-dairy cheese. Wasn't that bad. I mean, it definitely wasn't regular pizza, but it wasn't awful. So I have taken dairy out. I am very sensitive to dairy. It does not like me whatsoever. So I have removed that. So the point with inflammation is you can slowly add things back in to see what your body likes and doesn't like. I just have kept it out because I know what my body actually doesn't like, all right? Okay, what good research sites do you use to decide what to do? Okay, so I, I believe the book A Mind of Your Own by Kelly Brogan is a great place to start. Um, Whole30, right? So go to Whole30's website, Whole30.com. Um, I go follow the accounts Just Ingredients. So it's Just Dot Ingredients. Follow Gutsy um, Mom, Gutsy Mom. Um, she has the Gutsy Health podcast. I also follow Food Babe. Um, so lots of Instagram accounts that are certified nutritionists that I follow that are functional practitioners that I get a lot of information from as well. So I've, I've followed a lot of those ladies too. So that has really, really helped um, in there as well. Somebody else asked me, do I still do Beachbody? And the answer is yes, I do. I am a Beachbody coach um, and I have been for 10 years. I still do run that business. I still have a team. I still have customers there as well. Um, so yes, I do still do that. Okay. All right. Other questions. So hopefully that helps on the research. Um, I'm so glad that this was helpful. All right, you guys. Okay, so I don't see any other questions, um, but I think I answered most of them. So what I'm gonna do with this video is I'm gonna put it on my YouTube channel so you guys can go check it out. You are welcome to send me a direct message here. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please you know, private message me. I can send you Josie's information as well. Um, I'm more than happy to be a resource for you because this is 
genuinely changed my life. Like genuinely changed my life. I feel a thousand times better. Um, I have confidence and energy and no anxiety and um, and my, my body is happy. Like my IBS is so much better. Um, and I just, if you are dealing with any of the things that I talked about, I would highly encourage you to seek out professional help. All right. So testing, you should desk, I'm going to give you, I'll give you some resources. Um, after I'm done with this live, I'll throw it up in my stories, places for you guys to start. Um, and we'll go from there. All right. Okay. Bye guys.